everybody, Mrs. Bianchi here. We're looking at question number four, which gives you two and three fourths divided by two. And if we rethink two and three fourths as an improper fraction, that would end up equaling 11 fourths. So if we count up all the fourths here, see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 fourths. Now in the model below it, we're breaking this down into one, we're breaking this down into one. And we can, when we say divide by two, maybe our two groups are the blue group and the red group. So one method of figuring out the answer is to just figure out the value of either the red group or the blue group, and that would give you the answer. But that's a little confusing the way that this is presented to you. So let's look at it on a number line. Now, if we um, rethink two and three fourths, we know it's equal to 11 fourths. And how do we get that? We multiply four times two, which is eight, and add in the three, which is 11 fourths. But how, how about we rethink that as something eights, just because um, when we do the keep change flip, we'll end up using eight as a denominator. So let's rethink 11 fourths as something eights, and it would be equal to 22 eights. So where this little purple notch is, this red line in length is two and three fourths. Now, if we're gonna break that up into equal groups, we have group number one and group number two. How much is in each group? We can use the number line and look at the number that we get as our answer, which would be right here. Or if we proceed with the algorithm and we just do the division, turn this into an improper fraction, turn this into an improper fraction, then do the keep change flip. And now let's proceed with the rules for multiply. So we don't have any cross reducing. Don't attempt to cross reduce when it's still division, by the way. So we're ready to go right across. If we do 11 times one, we get 11. And if we do four times two, we get eight. And that matches what we have right here, right? 11 eighths. So the only thing left we have to do is the answer choices do not present it as an improper fraction. We need to divide, find what, how many times eight goes into 11, and then you'll have your answer. Good luck finishing that up.